You can eat perfectly, sleep eight hours a night, and still never grow a single millimeter taller. Crazy, right? Because it's not about nutrition or luck, it's about what signals your body to adapt. Most people stop growing because they stop sending the signal to grow. So today, we're turning that signal back on. These are 10 scientifically proven exercises that help you grow taller. By improving posture, activating growth hormones, and retraining your body to stretch beyond its limits. Before we start, what's your favorite height growth exercise? Drop it in the comments. I'm curious what most of you are doing. So let's break down the 10 movements that can literally make you stand taller and feel stronger. Number one, sprinting. If there's one thing that wakes up your body's hidden potential, it's this. 20 seconds of all out sprinting can spike your growth hormone levels by up to 400%. That's the same hormone that drives growth during puberty. Here's why. When you sprint, your body panics in a good way. Your brain thinks you're escaping danger and it floods your system with HGH, adrenaline, and repair hormones. Do five rounds of 20 seconds, three times a week. Rest fully between sprints. You'll feel your heart pounding, your lungs burning, and that's your biology unlocking survival mode. When your body adapts to survive, it also adapts to grow. Oh, um, and if you've ever sprinted and felt insanely hungry after, that's not random. That's your body begging for energy to rebuild taller and stronger. Two, jumping. Your legs are bones surrounded by sensors. When you jump, you send shock waves through those sensors and they respond by strengthening and rebuilding. It's called mechanical loading and it's one of the most powerful natural growth triggers we have. That's also why the Maasai tribe, known for their vertical jumps, happen to be among the tallest populations on earth. Their traditional jumping dance literally forces their bones to grow stronger and denser. Try 100 controlled squat jumps or jump rope reps five times a week. Don't chase height, chase impact consistency. Your skeleton is listening. Three, hanging. Here's something weird, and you might have noticed it yourself. You're actually taller in the morning than at night. Why? Because gravity compresses your spine all day long. By bedtime, you've literally lost up to two centimeters of height. But don't worry, that daily shrinkage isn't permanent. In my other video, Why You're Taller in the Morning and How to Stop Shrinking, I explain exactly how this happens and how to keep that extra height for longer. I'll link it in the description if you want the full breakdown. Now, Hanging Flips Gravity's script. It decompresses your spine, improves blood flow, and realigns your posture. You're not just stretching, you're undoing compression. Do three sets of 30 seconds a day, ideally after your workouts. And yes, right after, you might actually measure taller. Think of it as your daily spinal reboot for swimming. Okay, imagine training your entire body without gravity pulling you down. That's swimming. When you're in the water, every joint is free from compression you move through resistance in every direction, building lean muscle and allowing your spine to relax into its full length. It's basically physical therapy disguised as cardio. 30 to 45 minutes, two to three times a week. Freestyle or backstroke are best. It strengthens your core, opens your posture and stretches your body simultaneously. Gravity can't shrink you underwater. Use that to your advantage. Five, Cobra Stretch. You've been sitting for hours every day, scrolling, studying, working. Your spine hates it. The Cobra stretch reverses that damage. Lie face down, hands under your shoulders, and push your chest upward while keeping hips down. You'll feel your spine open, your ribs expand, and your chest lift. That's your front chain elongating again. Do three sets of 20 seconds, morning and night. And if you do it before sleep, even better. That's when your body releases the most growth hormone. And this stretch makes sure your spine takes advantage of it. Six, downward dog. If Cobra is about opening the front, downward dog is about lengthening the back. It stretches your calves, hamstrings, and spine. 
basically the whole tension chain that keeps you upright. Hold for 20 seconds three times right after Cobra. The two together are like yin and yang. One expands, one releases. Do them daily and your spine stops fighting against you. Seven, Pilates roll up. Want to know the real reason most people look shorter than they are? Weak core. If your core can't support your spine, you slouch. You cave in. You lose two, maybe three centimeters instantly. The Pilates roll-up fixes that by strengthening the deep stabilizing muscles that literally hold your posture in place. Lie flat, arms overhead. Slowly roll up until you touch your toes, vertebra by vertebra. Go slow, feel each segment move. Do three sets of 12 reps, four times a week. Once your core can hold your spine upright, your posture becomes effortless. You don't stand tall, you are tall. Eight, jump squats. This one isn't about breaking bones. It's about stressing them just enough to trigger adaptation. Jump squats combine resistance and impact, creating micro signals that tell your body, hey, these legs need reinforcement. That's how bones become denser and stronger. Five sets of 15 reps, one minute rest between each. You'll feel that explosive burn. That's your body's reminder that pressure creates progress. Nine, chin to toes stretch. Simplicity beats complexity here. Sit down, legs straight. Reach for your toes and hold. Don't bounce, breathe. You're lengthening the posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, and spine, and allowing better circulation through your back. Three sets of 20 seconds every day keeps your muscles loose and your spine mobile. Flexibility doesn't just look good, it physically prevents spinal compression. 10, wall posture holds. Now we fix the root cause, alignment. Stand with your heels, hips, shoulders, and head flat against a wall. Now hold, 60 seconds. At first it feels unnatural, but that's the point. This trains your body's muscle memory to default to perfect posture. Three rounds a day is all it takes to reprogram your nervous system. Do this long enough and your spine literally remembers how tall it's supposed to be. It's not fitness, it's recoding. All right, quick recap before we wrap up. Here's a full list of all 10 exercises. Take a quick screenshot if you want to save it for later. One, sprinting, the growth hormone trigger. Two, jumping, mechanical bone loading. Three, hanging, the gravity reversal. Four, swimming, your gravity-free reset. Five, cobra stretch, the posture rebuild. Six, downward dog, full body elongation. Seven, Pilates roll up the core controller. Eight, jump squats, power and micro adaptation. Nine, chin to toes, stretch, flexibility expansion. 10, wall posture, holds your software reset. That's your entire height growth blueprint. Clean, simple, and backed by science. A quick reminder, don't overload your bones with insane weights or nonstop workouts. Overtraining can do the opposite closing growth plates faster or compressing the spine more. Train smart, recover smarter. You're not punishing your body, you're engineering it. Applying stress, then letting it rebuild stronger. That's how humans evolve. If you combine these 10 exercises with proper sleep, nutrition, and consistency, you'll unlock the height potential that your DNA already gave you. You just haven't used it yet. You don't need magic, you need method. So stop waiting for genetics to do all the work. Sprint, jump, hang, swim, stretch, recover, repeat. And in a few months, you might just be looking at a taller, stronger version of yourself in the mirror. Comment grow mode if you're starting today. I'll see how many of you actually commit. And don't forget, next week, we're breaking down the best supplements for height growth, backed by science. This is beyond genetics where we build what others call impossible.